Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to our humanities course for the summer of 2023. Um, my name is Jackie Pierce. I am your instructor, and this is a course that I developed probably five years ago or so that grew out of an African-American literature course that we were teaching. Um, and the humanities version, of course, has some additional things, not just literature, but we're also going to be looking at art. We're going to be looking at music. Um, so it's a little bit, it's kind of the same course, but a little bit broader, um, bringing in some additional um, types of sources, which is kind of fun. Uh, it's one of my favorite classes to teach. It's always been one of my favorite classes to teach back in the literature only days as well. Um, and I hope that you will also enjoy it as much as people normally do. Um, so let's take a look at this week. Um, one of the things that I do in this course and in all my courses is every Monday, um, I come online very much like this. Uh, I do a video where I, I call it my weekly walkthrough video. And that's exactly what I do. I go through what you should be working on this week, uh, try to head off any questions that people might have, that sort of stuff. So uh, be on the lookout for these videos on Mondays. I know sometimes you get tired of hearing me, um, but I promise you the students who do make a point early each week to look at the weekly walkthrough video seem to do a lot better uh, in the course, just because it helps kind of center us and orient us. It can be really hard in a fully online class um, when you might feel like there's nobody on the back side of that computer. But uh, I think the the Monday talks sort of help with that. Um, and if one of the main things that we'll do each week is look at the course syllabus. Now, of course, this is week one, so you should be looking at your course syllabus anyway. But uh, I'm going to go through some basics with you, but mostly what I do on the weekly walkthroughs is take a look at where we are in the schedule. Um, one thing that's a little annoying about the concourse syllabus tool is that I have to be in my uh in my faculty view, I can't look at this through the student view. So I apologize in advance if this doesn't look the same way it looks when you're seeing it, but we'll make do. Okay. Once we get done with the syllabus, I'm going to turn on the student view so everything will look more familiar to you. But anyhow, as with most syllabi, uh, it starts off with all the identification information. Um, you have my contact information in a couple of, a couple of different places, but of course it's always available here in the syllabus. Um, you can feel free to call me Miss Pierce. You can feel free to call me Jackie if you so desire. Um, contacting me, the easiest and quickest way is to inbox me. Use Canvas inbox. That is the best way to contact me. You certainly can text me at the phone number there. Um, and especially during office hours, you can text me and we can hop in a Zoom. Um, but for the most part, I have a day job. <laughs> so uh, I am able to answer texts, but I'm not always able to um, have a full on phone conversation. So please text me if it's an emergency. Um, but I do check my inbox through the day. So if you send me a message there, I'm going to see it. The other thing is we do have an ask the instructor or a Q and a discussion board. Um, but those questions should be public in nature. So usually if somebody has a question about the course, um, dates, things like that, that's the best place for that. But if you've got a personal question, um, use inbox. That is the most secure method of communication. Part of your assignment this week is to read the, the, the syllabus. Um, but so I'm not going to read it to you, but we do have a, this is the course description that you may have seen in the catalog. We've got our objectives and our outcomes. What are you going to be doing during this particular course? Um, you do not have to purchase a textbook for this class. All of our assignments are housed within Canvas using our library, um, Lake Central's library and other free resources. But if you are a person who likes to have a physical copy of a book, I have two books that you may want to purchase. And you certainly can get them used. You can get older versions of them, whatever. Um, but if you want printed copies of textbooks to, to use 
These are the two that I suggest. The Norton Anthology of African American Literature, we are not going to touch on that much of it, but especially if you really enjoy the stuff that we're reading in this class, um, this is a good, it's a good book. It's a good collection. And then we are going to be reading directly from Sharon Patton's book, African American Art. Um, it is available through the library in ebook form. Um, but if you, again, if you want a physical copy of it, you can certainly um, obtain one for probably not a lot of money um, through Amazon. Technology requirements. Um, I just want to mention this is a fully online class. And if you are not logging in, often, that's an issue. I don't have midweek deadlines for anything. Everything we do is due on a Sunday night. But if you're spending no time at all in the course, that that's usually a bad sign. <laughs> so check in, you know, you'll get updates by uh, your student email if I've posted any other announcements or things like that, but it's a good idea. The other thing that it does when you sign in often is remind you that you have reading to do. <laughs> and also if you get, when you get grades back, you can look at the feedback and all that good stuff. The breakdown for the grades is right here. The whole course is worth a thousand points. So it's very easy to keep track of what you're doing. You will notice that we have two research papers that are due that are worth 150 points each. So neither one of those is enough to ruin your grade. Um, the final is worth 200, but it is open book, open note, and comprehensive. Um, you will not have a hard time earning those 200 points. We do also have a presentation, and that one um, gives people a lot of uh, worry sometimes, but I promise you it'll be okay. Um, and that is the biggest assignment in terms of like a single um, a single grade. The final and the presentation are the are the bigger um, assignments. But um, even that, as long as you do it, if you do it, you know, reasonably well, you're going to get a decent grade and there's no one assignment that's going to mean uh, you can't pass the course unless you don't turn something in. Late work, I do accept it. But the most important thing is to make sure that you talk to me about it, that you don't just pretend like it didn't happen. That's the biggest part. Um, important note about the end of the semester. I know we're not there yet. It's the first week, but I do really want to highlight this because this is something I feel very, very strongly about. If you do not do the work throughout the term, you cannot pass the course by doing a whole bunch of stuff in the last week or two. This is designed to be a 15, 14, 15 week course, and it takes that much time. Um, nothing other than the final can be submitted once finals begins. Uh, so the best way to pass this or any course is to do the regular work in a timely fashion. Institutional policies and procedures, you should read all these. Um, my own policies and procedures are directly below these. Uh, withdrawal date is July 13th. That's the last day to withdraw without getting a grade. And then is, uh, our class calendar, then comes our class calendar. So this is broken down by week. And as you see, everything starts on a Monday and everything ends on a Sunday until finals week. Um, finals week is August 7th through the 10th. You have until Thursday to turn in that final exam and, and nothing other than the final will be accepted after August the 6th for points. You can still turn it in, but you're not going to get any points for it. Um, so you can kind of see ahead of time kind of what to be on the lookout for. Each of our modules takes up usually two to three weeks. Uh, some are a little bit shorter, but most of them are two to three weeks. And you have a set of readings that you get at the beginning of that. So you don't have to read them all in the first week. You can schedule and plan it out however you want to. Um, but at the end of those units at the end of those modules, you have a reading response due. And those do need, you do need to have finished all of the readings and activities in order to complete those successfully. In the first week of a module, you may or may not have a quiz. 
Um, so you will need to do some of the readings by the end of the first week, but you, you usually do not have to do all of the readings by the end of that very first week. Um, our research paper, our first official major paper is due in, in um, oh gosh, I didn't number the weeks. I only did the modules. So the, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, week seven. So halfway through. Um, I should probably put those numbers on there because I'm going to want to refer to them. Um, so your first research paper is due halfway through the course. So you can kind of think of that as a midterm um, activity, not a midterm test. But anyway, you can kind of plan out your whole um, your whole schedule throughout here. Now, all of the readings, they're not listed individually in the syllabus. They are all in the modules. So I'm going to exit. I'm going to turn on the student view so it looks exactly or mostly like it does when you see it. So your one-stop shop for the work is the modules. Now you've got a lot of good information on here and getting started and all that fun stuff, but um, most of the time you can go straight to the modules and begin your week. The first week of course is by itself. And then we get into the slavery era come week two to three, weeks four to five are civil war emancipation and reconstruction. Weeks six through eight are your are the Harlem Renaissance readings and the first research paper. Um, the civil rights era goes along with our presentations. Those are weeks nine through 11. And then of course the contemporary period and the final is week 12 plus. Okay, so let's take a look at module one. You'll notice that almost all of them have three little, what we call pages in Canvas, and you can click on the first one. It will show you what the outcomes are for the module, but the guts, the stuff, the material is all on resources and assessments. This is the page where you will do your work. So this will give you the readings. It will give you videos. There are all kinds of things. You want to look through all of it. Um, do all the activities, do all the reviews. And then once you're done with that, you will do the assessments. So in this particular one, we've got a lecture. This is just about navigating Canvas, which honestly, if you watch this video, you will know that. But um, this will get you started. The syllabus, of course, you want to link over here to the course syllabus, help and support page, um, my contact information, all of that is, of course, on the syllabus as well. This is an MLA review activity. We are going to be using MLA because this is a humanities class. You have no doubt, because the NC 1101 is a prereq, you have no, no doubt used MLA before. Um, but sometimes we forget. So anyway, there's a review activity. There's some reminders about research because um, we will be doing research papers. And then you have the three graded assignments. All of them are due next Sunday. Okay, so first let's look at the instruct uh, the introduction, sorry, discussion board. And Lindacia has already started us off. Yay, I love it. Um, please take a few moments in week one to introduce yourself to your classmates. Um, this one doesn't have to be very long, but there are a few requirements. Include a video or a photo. Um, let's see. Yep, we oh, yay, look at you. And and it's your uh contact photo too, which is awesome. Um, Dacia, sorry, I used your full name before I scrolled down. <laughs> So I appreciate you being first. Uh, tell us something interesting about something you really love. Tell us why you chose this particular class over other options uh, this summer and name any African-American artists or writers who have had a big impact on you in the past. Now, when you are ready to post, hi, Cameron. Oh my gosh, you're in my favorite place. Um, when you're ready to post, of course, you just click on the reply button in order to add a photo, we use this button right here. It looks like a photo and we can click on upload image. Uh, you will click or drop it directly from your browser. Um, and you can choose, of course, any photo that you want. Um, I like to highlight our um, award-winning um, costumes from the Lake Sumter uh, Monster Dash a couple of years ago. You can just call a direct a decorative image or you can put in alt text and click submit. The photos are always very, very large. So I like to make them smaller. 
Um, I'm not going to post, by the way, but that was us. Um, and then if you wanted to record a video um, so that you can talk to us, you click on this. It's the next icon. It's got the little play button and the music notes. And under upload and record media, you click on record and it will allow you to do just that. Now, I'm not going to record within a recording within a recording because that's a little too postmodern for me. But once you're ready, of course, you click reply. You can do all kinds of fun stuff in the in these. Um, you can make a different font. You, there's endless possibilities. So I'm not gonna can't, I'm not gonna post though. Um, all right, so that's your first assignment. Your next assignment, we're gonna go back to the module one resources and assessments. Your next assignment is the startup scavenger hunt, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's kind of like a syllabus quiz. Um, you can take your time with it. Nothing that I put in here. Uh, for quizzes or tests or anything like that is timed. Um, but of course, you don't want to close it out before you're done with it either. So startup scavenger hunt, and then finally an MLA review assignment that will help showcase that you have reviewed the MLA materials. So that's the things that are due in week one. We won't get into our first like literature stuff until next week. So if you want to go ahead and get started with that, you certainly can. Um, the what's next just literally tells you what's coming up. So once you're there, if you want to just click next, you'll go directly to module two. I like to go back and forth to the actual module page just because it makes it easier for me. But you are welcome to work ahead. You're welcome to go ahead and start the readings for next week. Uh, but I will be back with you on Monday, the whatever day that is, the 15th, um, to talk about what's coming up. All right. If you have any questions at all, please, please, please reach out. Um, I am here. So don't hesitate to reach out for some questions. All right, everybody, take care. Have a great week one, and I will see you next Monday.